Travis Kelsey is one of the toughest players in the NFL guard. He's the best tight end, big, fast, can go get it. And the Chiefs do a good job of moving him around. And they also do a good, good job of giving him some freedom. So it's third and three right now. He's isolated. See how he just goes and sits down right there. Doesn't look like much right there just because it's in zone and he, he does his job. But if it's man coverage, which will be Derwin uh, tomorrow night, if it's man, he has the option of sitting down and um, just like a little jerk route and then going back to the inside. Or he can sit down just like he does and just whip right back out and watch his pace. So he, he's so like methodical, slow that when this very next route, he does the same thing. The cornerback just easily reacts to it. So here he is right here. Looks like a safety a linebacker, I think. Like he's going to react to that. It's a really good job just by Kelsey. It doesn't seem like much, but just of, of pacing right there. Changing up his pace. He reacts, opens back up, and going back to the first play, Another reason why, you know, the Chiefs are so good and Kelsey has these type of looks is if you just see, you get motion right here from fastest player in the NFL, Tyreek Hill, he has to honor it. So Kelsey gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities just with the spacing and the motion that they do with Hill and all the other guys. So when he is isolated as well, the reason, another reason that makes him so good is because he can stretch the field, so he can get inside and outside in. They like to do a little China route, so he'll go short, and then Kelsey will go deep, and just watch how easy he gets open here. Just a little stutter, and that's a cornerback, and I like how he just high points it right there, but also, this actually happens to be the best route that Derwin guards, just like statistically PFF had that, and you can just tell by watching him so Derwin, he's fast enough to be patient right here. And I can show you some of those where it doesn't matter if he's like if he's beat because he can catch up. Like he doesn't have that kind of separation. He doesn't give that kind of separation up. One thing the Chiefs like to do down in the red zone with Kelsey is so they're gonna have him and they're gonna actually have him isolated so he wouldn't even be here. And they just have him sit down just like this, like a curl route. Um he actually dropped the one against the Chargers, but He's done that quite a bit down the red zone, and he's just a big target. But as you can see, uh, Derwin does a good job here of making a play on what will essentially be the same route. And Seals Jones is a good athlete, former receiver. Um, just you kind of see that recovery that James has that not a lot of guys do. So um, that'll help him stay with Kelsey. One thing that he's really good at is when you get hands on, whenever James gets hands on you, that's pretty much RIP the play's over. So. Um, he, he actually plays a lot of off coverage, but I'd like to see him play just do more of that where he can get up, get his hands on you and kind of miss time, just throw off your timing. Just like you saw on Kelsey's previous catch, one thing that he's just really good at is high pointing the ball and protecting the ball once he catches it. So you'll see here that he gets kind of muscled up there, but is able to shake free and goes up and gets it. And that is just tough to do. And that's something uh, Derwin or Adrian Phillips, whoever's guarding him, is going to have to play above the rim to stop him. 